Hey kids, it's Mr. Flaw here, hope you're well. Out and about today on the Royal Enfield Interceptor 650, a great fun retro bike, great value as well. If you're interested in one of these bikes, you're going to want to stick around and stay tuned, because in this video, I'm going to tell you the top five things you've got to know about the Royal Interceptor 650. So welcome aboard the Royal Enfield uh, Interceptor 650, a bike now that's been available in the UK for around about uh, six months or so. A beautiful looking machine, retro style, and made uh, by that classic British company Royal Enfield. I say British, of course, they started off in England. They are now, of course, very much an Indian company. These bikes made in India, but with a very British heritage. I like to think of them as kind of Anglo-Indian. Now, I've been riding this bike for the last couple of days. And, uh, I've really been enjoying it and there are a few things about the bike that have kind of stuck out for me so if you're interested in these bikes I thought there might be some things that you need to know before you go and uh, buy one so uh, stick around and stay tuned I'll tell you my top five things that you must know about the Royal Enfield. So the first thing you must know about the Interceptor and you'll find this out very quickly as soon as you jump on it especially if you're on roads like these these sort of back B roads is it's just a great great fun bike to ride it just puts a smile on your face this one's got a standard exhaust on, it sounds absolutely amazing, I hope you can hear it. A little bit of gravel around here, be careful. But yeah, it sounds and rides fabulous and it's a real grin factor bike. This is just, just, just a fun place to be, that's the first thing you need to know about the bike. Second thing you need to know about the uh, Interceptor 650 is that it's absolutely top value for money to buy. This bike on the road, brand new, with a three year warranty, 5,550 pounds. You find me another bike that's that good value. I'm sure you knew that anyway if you're watching this video with a view to buying one of these, but uh, they really are excellent value. As far as I'm concerned, in terms of quality and fun factor, they're up there with the uh, Triumph Bonnevilles. Okay, build quality isn't quite as good as the Bonnevilles. If you like the uh, the Enfield 4 feels more like the previous generation 865, albeit much, much lighter and uh, sounding better and more fun in my view. But it's still absolutely cracking value for money. If you think of the cheapest uh, Bonneville is I think the Street Twin, they're about £9,000. So basically twice the price of this bike and believe me you are not getting twice the fun. I think this bike actually has more character and more retro charm. I'd have one of these over a Street Twin any day regardless of price. So that's the second thing you need to know. Brilliant value for money. Yeah! So on to the third thing you need to know about the Royal Enfield Interceptor, and this is such a good thing. On these twisty, turny B roads, this one's got quite a bumpy surface. If you give it some beans as there was down there, the suspension can get a little bit out of shape. The suspension, generally speaking, is absolutely fine for normal lazy riding, but once you start to wind the bike up, she can get a little bit bouncy on those twisty roads and if you go really fast on high speed roads, motorways, things like that I have found that she does feel a little bit weavy so just be aware that the suspension feels a little bit budget not a big problem if you're just going to be riding it lazily but if you're going to be hammering it you might want to swap it out for something a bit more beefy easily done though okay so to number four of my list the things you need to know about the Royal Enfield Interceptor and again this is a bad point and this is to do with servicing. The servicing intervals on the bike, 3,000 miles, which for a modern bike is quite a short interval. And not only is it 3,000 miles of service interval, but also the bike takes fully synthetic oil because it has a slipper clutch, which makes it, the slipper clutch is lovely by the way, but because it's fully synthetic oil, that's quite expensive. So that makes the service quite expensive, as does the fact that on every service, they also check the valve clearances which is quite a time intensive job. So every 3,000 miles you're looking at something like, well, between, depending on where you go, between three and 400 pounds for a service. Ah, stop the video at this point. Since I made this video, uh, I've realized actually I made a bit of a cock up here on the servicing. Although the service interval is every 3,000 miles, the 3,000 mile check is actually just a sort of an inspect and check type service. The oil change and valve clearance check is only every 6,000 miles, so it's not quite as bad as I made out on this video. So sorry for misleading you there. Back to the video and sorry about my throat. So it's quite expensive to actually run the bike, so it's probably well worth learning how to maintain the bike yourself. The good news is they're very simple bikes and they're easy to work on. Changing things like the spark plugs and the oil couldn't be easier so it's well worth learning how to do that yourself and then you can save yourself a bit of money on those uh, servicing charges. 
And finally, the last thing you need to know about the Enfield, which uh, you probably know already, is that it's quite a simple bike. I call it back to basics, sort of real world, old school motorcycling. There's no riding modes, there's no fancy electronics. It does have ABS, which is the one electronic aid that I think is definitely worth having. It doesn't have traction control. So it is proper old school, simple biking. And I think the machine is all the better for it. So there you have it folks, that's the top five things I think you need to know about the Royal Enfield Interceptor 650 if you're thinking of buying one. It's an absolutely brilliant bike. I've got loads of videos on my channel about this machine. Check out my Royal Enfield playlist and you can find out an awful lot more about this bike including the specs, what it's like to live with longer term and everything else you may need to know about the machine. Okay, I hope that's been of some interest to you. Don't forget to uh, hit the subscribe button if you've not already done so. It'd be great to have you along and I look forward to speaking to you again soon. Till then, this has been the Mist and Fly. Cheerio.